How's it going guys, James96 here back with another episode of Caving and guys we are in Code Red situation, DEFCON 1, anything else that I can think of, guys uh, something really bad has happened, uh, I think that uh, Wally has escaped because uh, I went to check on him because he seemed to be blasting a lot more than usual and uh, yeah I'm pretty sure he's escaped guys so we need to try and take him out as quick as possible because uh, Oh, hell is going to break loose. He dropped, there was a diamond down there. I basically started going down the ladder, saw that it had been exploded and panicked, ran away so that I could uh, gear up, which I'm trying to do now. Uh, apparently Bob's head has a uh, attack damage of plus four. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll use that to our advantage. That's a neat little trick that hardly anyone noticed that I think we're going to uh, make use of now. Golden apple, um, what have we got here? We've got, we need some potions. Potions, 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 potions. Um, I'm panicking as you can tell. Um, what have we got? So we've got regen, we've got splash potion of healing, we'll keep that uh, here for now. Get that off our hotbar. We need any other good potions that we've got. Uh, potion of strength, that'll do. Potion of strength, that'll do. Um, and we need golden apple. I may get another golden apple as well. Uh, I think if we take out some of the gold from this beacon. That might be a small move. I don't really know. Alright, let's uh, make a couple more golden apples, I guess. Oh, we've got some gold here anyway. So we don't need to use those. Oh, well, right. Um, Alright. One, two. And, like so, all this time, the guy's probably just destroying the place. But I want to try and get myself as safe as possible. Alright, let's pick that up. Okay, we've got three golden apples now. That's good. Um, I guess we go over there and try and kill him. Right, let's eat up. We need to be regening health as much as possible. Okay, let's just run over. I'm not trusting the minecart. We need to get down there as quick as possible. Alright, uh, I think it's just, well, it's just around the corner, isn't it? Okay, and then down. Um, what have we got on our hotbar? We've got this. And then I think it's this one. And I'll probably take a golden apple now. Alright. Oh. I think we should be ready to go. Where is he? He's just there. Oh, we missed him. Hopefully the strength helps. All the while he can't see us, it's perfect for us. Alright, I think we might be able to get up top just here. Okay, let's just try and take him out. Go, go, go. Okay. Uh, will we survive? Splash potion of healing. Uh, golden apple and just hope for the best I guess we've got another golden apple if necessary jeez ok I think we might survive this we should do Oh, breathe are we good? how long's left? 15 seconds ok I might take another golden apple hopefully that should help 5 Four, three, two, one. Yes. Oh, we survived, guys. Okay, so now you know that taming a pet wither, probably not the best idea. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Oh, that was a, that was a tense battle. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that at the start of our final episode, guys. But I think we... Did very good at avoiding any damage, which is perfect. I mean, oh, we've got another diamond here. There was obviously a couple of diamonds around. Any more diamonds? I mean, it's the perfect level for it. But yeah, um, alright, <laughs> we survived that. Right, now we can get on with what I actually had planned for the final episode, guys. So, let's just uh, peel her up, I guess, for now. That's such a shame because I was I really liked having a pet with it, but clearly I don't know what happened. It must have been like a chunk error or something. But uh, yeah, we survived, which is the main thing. We've still got our oh, zero deaths. If I can find in the uh, what is it statistics uh, somewhere? Where is it? Uh, number of deaths zero, and then deaths by all of these mobs. I've never been killed by any of them so yeah still on zero deaths right let's get back over um 
we got a witch one somewhere. I put that in a chest somewhere. Uh, which I obviously didn't pick up. But anyway, guys, right. What we're going to do this episode is we are, first of all, going to do a tour of everything that we have built in Caven. Uh, so, we might as well, let's return Bob's head. He, it was very useful. Can I get it back on? Does it still have the plus four attack damage? It does. Let's put it back. Okay, so. We might as well start here. This is, uh, actually, no, let's start right from the beginning. Let's start right from the beginning of our world. So we're going to do a bit of a world tour here and just showing everything off. And then I'm thinking, guys, that there should be a, actually, no, I'll tell you what, guaranteed. I am putting this map up for a download at the end. So if you want to check out in the description below, you can download this exact map that I played on. And you can have a look at everything that I built and everything that I'm going to be showing off in this episode, which is pretty damn cool. So if you want to, then you can. Right. So this is where we spawned in. We've made this uh, grand railway. And then we've got on our left, we've got our first sort of big project that we did, which was this uh, mob farm here. So we've got the uh, two spawners. We've got, I think, zombie on one side and skelly on the other. I think it's the other way around, actually. Zombie on this side, skelly on this side. And uh, if you wait long enough, then they'll all get transported in. You can probably see some start. Yeah, skeletons are starting to go up there now. And zombies are probably going up the other one as well. Yep, there's a zombie. And they go all the way up and then they drop down into here. Where you can just kill them directly or you can use like a splash potion of harming. And then we collected all of this stuff in here for that. And that worked really well. Got us plenty of XP, uh, bones, all sorts. So yeah, that was a very good farm. So yeah, you could just get them with a couple of punches. And that was kind of how that worked. This guy's probably got feather falling or something. But yeah, that was our first real thing that we did in Caven. Our first proper like project that we did. And I was really happy with how it turned out, actually. I don't think this area works with the chicken jockeys. Just because they drown down the bottom, I think. But other than that, very, very useful farm for uh, getting everything that we needed. And we've got our enchanting table here. So yeah, that's basically what we did with that area. Got a nice light there. Obviously down here, as we just saw, was where we had our pet wither. But he obviously decided to try and escape before us. So that's why uh, we had to kill him. Which is a bit of a shame, because he also killed our iron golem companions. But yep, yeah, this is our main base area. This is where we did all of our operation stuff and where everything took place. Down here we've got our gardens, we've got carrots through here, we've got sugar cane, we've got giant mushroom, we've got, uh, we can actually replace those two blocks again so that our beacon can work again, hopefully. But yeah, that is that area, we've got our wall here which is virtually done now, we've just got to change a couple more to done. Uh, let's, oh, sh uh, what was that one? That was, uh, Damn it, okay, we'll have to check what that was. Uh, I'll do that before I make the world available for download. Uh, we've got our beacon here. We have, yeah, so we made our, I'm really annoyed that I forgot that. It's something to do with defeating the ender dragon. I'll just put defeat the ender dragon for now. It's like slay the dragon or something. Slay the ender dragon. For that is done. Okay, and then we've got a couple more. Snow Golem 1, in my version of the game, guys, I can't do that one before I escape, so we'll do that as soon as we escape. Uh, yeah, we've got this area here, which proved to be very useful. So we had a zombie spawner here, and then what we did was we made these purifying cells that have pressure plates on them, which cause the light to light up, which means nothing else can spawn in that individual cell. And then if it was a zombie villager, then we could... Um, Any more? No. If there was a zombie villager, then we could purify it. If it was a normal villager, then we'd uh, normal zombie, then we would just kill it. But anyway, let's continue on. I think what we'll do next is we will go to the Never. So through here is our Never, where we made our we had a gold farm situation, which I can probably quite easily show off now. Um, just by aggravating one of these guys. So you'll see they'll all come over now. And we had a really, a pretty clever setup here. I was pretty impressed by it. Okay, that guy's going to line up by the door. I'm not really sure how he got up there. I'll probably just shoot him off though. But you 
obviously what happens is they run, they try and get to me because they see these two trap doors as a way through and they bounce off the cactus and down into a pit down the bottom where they all die and then if we have a look just down here you'll see that all of their drops are collected down here and you can even get a little bit of XP from it. So yeah, that is how that system works, which I was also very happy with. That made it so that we could pretty much completely auto-renew, uh, get as many villagers as we wanted, provided that we spent enough time finding the zombie villagers, because you couldn't just create a villager breeder, because obviously it's deep underground. So that was how we conquered that problem, which I was very happy with. Right. Next thing that we uh, did, well, not the next thing that we did, but another thing that we will check out is the village through here. If I can get to it. Uh, we'll come back to the village actually because that's on our way towards the finish line. Let's close that off. That waterfall though, very cool. So basically one of our villagers died because this area wasn't very secure at the time. So we made this waterfall thing that basically keeps the villagers on that side and us on this side. Which is very, very cool how I did that. But anyway, we are next going to probably, let's go check out what we did over here. So, if I go this way, oh, I don't know how to get through to it very well anymore. But basically somewhere, oh, this is going to be a nightmare to get to, isn't it? I think we need to go straight on. What is through this way? Let's just try and go around. I think that's the chicken. Uh, farm. Oh, this way? May not be able to find it. We uh, did a huge area that we dug out. Quite annoyed that I can't find it, actually. How? Let's go back. So it was this way, and then... Hmm. <laughs> Everything's kind of blocked off by all the other projects that we've done. Let's try going this way again. It might be just around here, or we might be able to get to it from just around here. We seem to be going around in circles at the moment. Let's eat our uh, potato so that we can check out around here. I'm just going to dig through. So we're actually going behind the village at the moment. Because I, I kind of blocked off quite a lot of stuff when I was working on that. But I think around here somewhere is what we need. If we can find it, we'll dig a bit further. And if we can't find it, we can't find it. Tell you what, give me a sec, I'll find it, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, it turns out it's literally just a couple of blocks further, so that will be the way you can get to this if you want to. But yes, this is our uh, big dig out that we did just through here. And this took a lot of work. This was a huge project. This was to get chickens because we wanted a nice quick way of getting loads of uh, chicken jockeys. So as you can see just here, we dug out this huge area which spawns a load of zombies. Sorry if you can hear my dog. She's been very annoying today. But uh, yes, this is our uh, our big project. We uh, dug out this huge area. Look at it. It's absolutely massive. And it's got, it spawns a load of zombies and then the chicken ones would just float down. And the idea was that most of the rest of them would just uh, die from the fall. It wasn't 100% perfect but it worked pretty well. And this is just some of the uh, blocks that we got from that. I discarded most of them. But that was a few that I kept over. So yeah, blocks weren't really an issue in this map. Pretty much everything that we did involved uh, digging out a certain area. So yeah, that was not the issue. Right. I wonder if we can get back how we're supposed to be able to get back. Let's try going this way and see if we can get back. So, this is how... Where are we now? We are behind. Or we are by the um, back of the village. Okay. Let's not go that way for now. Let's go back the way that we came. Because we'll get there a lot quicker. But yeah, if we just go through here then we'll get there. So if you want to come and check that area out, you can. But yeah, if we just go this way, then we are back. So, that is some of the stuff that we've done so far. Now we can probably take our Grand Railway over to 
our next big project, which was our witch farm. Now this one was probably one of the most useful things. Hang on, let me just turn my music and sounds down. Probably one of the most useful things that I built on uh, Caven, because this is what gave me all of my redstone for some of my later projects, and it was really useful. Uh, <laughs> it's getting a bit slow here. It also gave unlimited supply of sticks, which was another, again, very useful thing that we needed. But yeah, if we just go all the way down to the end here, we made ourselves a witch farm, which automatically kills the witches and just drops the basic witch materials. Uh, so we should just end up here. Is this off or on? Oh, damn it. Let's turn it off. Okay, it should stay here. So yeah. We tidied this up a bit in the last, uh, one of the last episodes. But yes, this is the witch hut that we found. And we did something pretty cool with it. Basically, we made a fully automatic witch farm out of it. Well, fully AFK of a witch farm out of it. So, I could, and I replicated the exact room that we found. And I can probably get down just from over here. Hound, let's at least group these together. And I think just, okay, just through here, yeah, you can see there is a witch spawner, which spawns witches in, and then they, they go from there, and basically what happens is, let's fill some of this in, we've got a little bit of time. They will go, and they will travel along here, and then climb up just along here, they'll go up this water tower, so it's quite a long process, but there you go, they got up there, and the cool thing is they don't actually drown because they give themselves potions of water breathing. So you don't even have to put air pockets in for them. They'll just go all the way up. They go along and then they come down here and drop down into this system. Oh, we've actually got a stick here still. I don't have space for it really. But yeah, that is uh, another build that I made which I was really happy with. And that's basically kept us going throughout the series and kept that supply going. But anyway, let's go back over to the main place. I really should move that chest. The amount of times I've been over here and just been like, oh yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that. And then never got around to it. Yeah, that was one of the many projects that we did over on this series. We have been busy over this past couple of months, guys. Which is why I'm so sad to see the series go. And why I was so panicking earlier in the episode. Because of that um, wither getting out. So yeah, it was probably for the best that we just killed that wither. But oh well. It's always fun to try new things out. Like so, good. Still never changed that to a button. <laughs> Alright. Next thing that we'll do is we will go over now. I don't think I'm forgetting anything over in this area. So we'll start heading over to the back end. And I can't... Ah, come on. Let me just do that quickly. Oh. And then open it up on this side. Aha. So we have it on both sides. Because villagers tended to cause a few problems. They tended to get into places that they weren't supposed to. But yeah, we have got this underground village, which is one of my most proud achievements from Cave and Guys, because with this area, we made a fully underground village. It wasn't functional in the sense that uh, villagers could breed in it, but it was functional in every other sense. We have got a potato farm in there, which is fully automatic, where if we travel down in the well, yeah, it's filled up again. It was just that effective. So yeah, we could do that. And then we could always trade the emeralds with that guy there, the potatoes with that guy there to get emeralds. And every building in here has a purpose, as well as looking cool because it's using the blocks that they could find. And yeah, I think it adds to the thing pretty well. But we've got this building, which is just housing the waterfall mechanics. We've got this one, which is a... Uh, I keep forgetting the name for this, but it's a auto farm. So you place it down and it quickly bone builds it up and then you can quickly get more and more potatoes or carrots or I think wheat. You've got this one here which is the AFK fish farm which I don't have a fishing rod on me. But yeah I used this a bit. We got a piece of leather from it. So yeah that was a fairly cool machine there. Then we got this one which is our KFC which provided us with cooked chicken which was a different food source. We didn't actually use the uh, food source that much, but I guess we could use a bit of cooked chicken for now, as it's the end. 
we made ourselves a nice little furnace here. We never got around to like fully automating it or anything, which was something that I was considering doing long term. But again, it was another pretty awesome thing. We made this armor armory room here. We could probably afford to put this armor back now. I don't think we're going to be under attack anymore. See, so yeah, we'll put our armor back here. But yeah, we've got our Batman suit. We've got our diamond suit. I never did put another suit there. But yeah, that's where it would go. Right. Let's start heading onwards. That should close behind me. And we've got this next project, which uh, I'll talk about. I never actually showed this because uh, I never got it to work. But we are going down to the Batcave because basically um, the mechanics of... Uh, bats were actually slightly different to uh, what we thought. Uh, well, there was something hidden in bats that we didn't know about. For me, it was because it wasn't in my version of the game, but for you guys, it should be in your version of the game. And basically, uh, what it is, is that bats have a chance of dropping uh, bat skin and guano when you kill them. And I updated my game so that mine could as well. And uh, this is me attempting to make this a fully automatic farm. And uh, here you can see that in action. I think I may have chain left my percentages change so there was a 100% chance. Just because I was testing the machine. Yeah, it is a 100% chance. But normally it's like a 0.85% chance. I never got around to getting this to work basically. So uh, that's what happened there. Because it turns out that you have to kill custom mobs manually to get them to drop items which is a bit of a shame but oh well because I was trying to use a drowning chamber to get them to all die because uh, basically up here I could probably go up there I just have uh, if I break that I can up here I have a load of uh, repeaters set up to trigger all of the dispensers and it makes a really cool sound every time and then it will flood the entire room and the bats have nowhere to go so they'll all drown and then once they were all drowned I would just toggle this back off and it would just it would take away all of the water that was falling down here it would just leave water streams that we've got around the edge which would push items towards the middle and they would end up in this large chest here but obviously the problem was that because Mob, custom mobs to get their mob drops they have to be killed by hand it wasn't possible to make a farm which is a bit of a shame because I love making farms from things but that one wasn't a case they'll still drop their normal drops but as drop as bats don't normally drop anything uh, that wasn't possible but anyway let's continue on oh actually I think in that chest there was my uh, my which wand just down here I think that's where I left it if we've got a chest here, yep. And our witch wand. And we've got a dragon egg there as well. We'll take that over to the end with us. Oh, we need to also take a beacon over with us. So that we can look to escape. Because I don't plan on coming back. This is, well, I plan on being able to come back. But we're not planning on coming back right now. Right. So. Next, all we have to do is break through here. And, um, yep, then we just have to go through here, back through, into, um, sorry, lost my trailer for that. Right, what do we need? We were going to take our beacon with us. Like so. And we were going to take a pumpkin with us so that we can make a snow golem to be able to finish off all of the challenges. Uh, we've got loads of stuff on us that we don't need though. So let's just get rid of some of those. Uh, I know that I'm wasting a couple of pretty valuable materials there but I don't really mind too much. Right, we've got our pumpkin. Probably make a shovel if we've got the sticks. Actually it'll probably be easier to make a shovel on the surface to be honest. Uh, let's go through then. So that is pretty much everything that we did over here. There's just one more sort of big project that we did 
which was we m did this huge journey over to the stronghold where obviously we took on the ender dragon and had a bunch of fun with that but yeah it's a long old way this took us like three hours or something i think to do and uh, there's a time lapse of me doing this whole entire journey which was one of the previous episodes which loads of you guys liked which was great to see but yeah let's um let's go through now into uh over to the end can we make it oh <laughs> running out of food Okay, we're almost there now. Over at the stronghold. <laughs> this <laughs> this episode has been slightly chaotic because I started with such a high adrenaline thing. I apologise if I've been speaking like really quickly this entire episode. But for one, I'm very excited because this is the last episode. We're going to try and escape now. I'm assuming that we kind of have everything that we need to be able to escape. Because if we don't, then this is going to be entertaining because we're going to get all the way over there and then not have what we need. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we just need the uh, beacon to escape. So yeah, let's go all the way over. We must be almost there by now. Yeah, I think I can see the end just coming up. Good. And then we need to run around the edge. Try not to fall into this ravine. And let's see if we can get this right, guys. For the last time. Well, kind of right. We're off to a interesting sh uh, shark start. Aha, yes. And then it was just down here. So yeah, this is the stronghold. This was all naturally built, so we didn't actually build any of this. But where we need to go is we need to go up onto the mining area up the top here. And we're going to bang our head every single way up, which is going to really hurt our head. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. All right. And then to home. Okay, so this part we need to pay attention to. Because I don't really know how to do this. Stand clear while excavator is in motion. Did we leave the books here which explain how to do this? No, it doesn't look like it. I think I kind of know what you have to do. I think you have to get a pure material. So, beacon. I know that much. Okay, that's on. And then I think we need to have something smelting in each one of these. So, I wonder how many of these you can actually... I wonder if this is possible. Right. Let's just put some of this in each one. So that that part is going. I think we have to get all of the furnaces fired up for this to work. At least that's what it looks like, doesn't it? I kind of had a rough idea of how to do this. But yeah, let's take this out as well. Uh, actually, what can we use to smelt? So this smelts. I think these smelt. And I'm hoping a chest can smelt as well. Let's see. Yeah, chest smelts, the sign smelt, sign stone smelt, the ladder smelt. Oh, the ladder's not smelt either. Oh, no. Damn it. Alright, this might be a slight technical difficulty here. That chest is already finished smelting. Alright, so we should be able to do this just by stuff that we've got here. So if we grab this chest. Actually, I think there's a bunch of uh, coal and stuff down the bottom. So let's go grab some coal. Let's not be silly about this. <laughs> uh, what are the chances that we needed something that we didn't have on us? Oh, well, right. Let's go through. Go right down to the bottom. Getting ready to escape now, guys. The excitement is incredible. Well excited for this. <laughs> All right, let's go down. All the way. And down like so. Alright, what have we got that we can smelt then? I might just take a few planks. Actually, I think we've got coal up the top. I'm sure there must be some coal. Right, we can climb up here. So we had loads of materials here, which we didn't really need by the time we got over here. Haha, four blocks of coal, perfect. That will definitely do us. Assuming that that's all we need to be able to get to the end. Which I think it might be. Uh, I keep saying get to the end. To escape is what I meant. Oh yeah, and this way. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> this is quite a long episode, actually. <laughs> sorry sorry about that. It should be about half an hour long. But yeah, doing our escaping here. 
and if we just put one of these in each one so one in here one in here one in this one and one in this one Did that work oh looks like it it looks like it's excavating oh do we have to do anything in particular to be able to get out can we get out what if oh do we have to like build our way out oh let's try going have we escaped yes congratulations you have escaped cave in you are free Archimedes machine worked but only for a short time the hole has already been resealed uh, da 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 once again all into there Will they survive? Only the strongest do. That was really quick. I'm sure you probably fixed that. Kevin, okay, hope you enjoyed. Well, I really did enjoy. Right. We have one more task still to do though, guys. We have to make ourselves a snow golem. I refuse to let this one beat me. So let's go over here now before we do our final wrap up. Oh, it plays us some music as well. That's nice. Alright. I'm so happy that we finished that. Alright. Let's make ourselves a crafting bench. We have to make quite a lot. Of, we have to get quite a lot of snow actually. And I didn't bring any cobblestone with me, damn it. So we're gonna have to make uh, wooden shovels, which is a bit of an oversight. Uh, it's never easy, is it? Right. Let's finish off here now. Ah, uh, we made it, guys. This is the surface sunlight at last. Yes. All right. I don't think we need that much snow, actually. That should be enough. Yeah, easily enough. You only need two, don't you? Alright. So, if we do bang, bang, and then... Actually, he might melt in the water. I don't know. No, hound. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to move him slightly, actually, because I don't want him to melt in the water, if that is the case. Oh, it's getting near to night time. He'll melt in the desert for sure. Let's go over here slightly. And light ourselves a little area up. So that we can finish off in style. Having completed cave-in. So pleased. I wasn't sure, you know, when I started what this map was going to be like. It got recommended by Dan. Who, you know, I can only thank so much. I mean, thank you for everything that you've done, Dan. It's awesome. And is that a hole in the bedrock there? Oh, okay, it does load in. I was going to say, could I have just like escaped pretty simply? But no, looks like it's fixed. So, yep, so thank you very much to Dan and all of the Oath Brothers, really, for the amount of time that you put into this map and effort. Uh, thank you to everyone who's played it as well for keeping the popularity up and keeping it entertaining for me uh, to follow as well as play myself. Snow Golem's disappeared off, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching guys. Like I said, map download in the description if you want to check out my world. And yeah, that's all I've got time for guy today guys. Exiled, the follow up map to this is coming out very, very shortly. It should be by this weekend. So if you want to check that out, then keep posted. I will be releasing an episode on release. I've got a early beta copy. So I'm going to be doing some recording with the YouTuber Pure Spirit. So if you want to check him out, then I suggest that you do. But anyway, guys, that is all we've got time for today. For today. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you very shortly. Bye bye. Coming soon. Hey, 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 everyone, Pure Spirit here. How's it going, guys? James96 here. And uh, yeah, we're here on the brand new map Exiled from the yes. makers of Cave-In, the Oath so Brothers. Excited. Oh my gosh, been waiting far too long for this. 